Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news. South Canterbury Finance has registered a new prospectus. This is after almost two months without a prospectus, being unable to raise money from the public. However, there remains significant uncertainty around South Canterbury Finance's future. Will it be able to keep its current double B plus credit rating? Will it get a government guarantee in the extended scheme after October 2010? Will it be able to get new equity investment? And can it get a new funder to lend it $75 million? South Canterbury Finance is offering 8% for money reinvested with it until the end of the deposit guarantee scheme but it is, then is only offering 8.5% after that. There are real uncertainties around South Canterbury Finance's future, and if I was telling my mother-in-law whether or not to reinvest, I'd say reinvest no longer than the end of the current deposit guarantee scheme, because there are too many uncertainties. We've also found out from the prospectus that Alan Hubbard, the chairman, is going to step down within 12 months, that one third of Dairy Holdings, New Zealand's largest corporate dairy farmer, will be sold at some stage by South Canterbury Finance, as will be South Island Farm Holdings, which has 20 dairy farms. South Canterbury is going to wind down its book to a certain extent, particularly to get out of property lending. Too many uncertainties. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB.